because vegetarian is the quickest and most effective and long lasting forever. And it will halt the global warming right where it is and it will even improve our world. Our world will become better because of the loving energy that we generate. Being vegetarian stops the killing circle and reduce greenhouse gases most quickly. Please continue watching to find out more. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Today's episode will be presented in English with subtitles in Arabic, Aulaxis, also known as Vietnamese, Bulgarian, Chinese, Croatian, Czech, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Malay, Mongolian, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Punjabi, Russian, Sinhalese, Spanish, and Thai. Halo dan salam, para pemirsa yang luar biasa. Nama saya Umi dari Medan di Indonesia dengan kekayaan yang berlimpah. Sebagai kepulauan terbesar di dunia, Indonesia terdiri dari 17.508 pulau yang terbentang antara benua Asia dan Australia. Sebagai kepulauan pasar rempah-rempah, Indonesia adalah negara berpenduduk terbanyak keempat di dunia. Mengelilingi ribuan pulau kecil dengan garis pantai lebih dari 80.000 km. Laut tropis Indonesia yang hangat juga memiliki tingkat keanekaragaman hayati yang tinggi, disertai berbagai ekosistem yang meliputi pantai, gumuk pasir, muara, hutan bakau, terumbu karang, hamparan rumput laut, hamparan lumpur pantai, dataran pasang surut, hamparan ganggang, dan ekosistem pulau kecil. Dengan jumlah pulaunya yang besar, tidaklah mengejutkan bila di Indonesia terdapat kira-kira 300 kelompok etnis masing-masing dengan tradisi yang unik dan indah yang berkontribusi pada kebudayaan modern Indonesia yang dinamis. Maha Guru Ching Hai memiliki kasih yang besar kepada rakyat Indonesia dan telah bercerama di negeri yang mulia ini. Tahun 2014, beliau mengirim surat kepada yang mulia Joko Widodo untuk memberi ucapan selamat karena terpilih sebagai Presiden Indonesia. Beliau mengakhiri surat hangatnya kepada Yang Mulia dengan menyatakan, dengan semua harapan terbaik saya, semoga surga memberkati Anda dan rakyat Indonesia yang baik hati. merupakan satu keistimewaan untuk bercerita pada Anda sekilas tentang Indonesia yang selalu memikat. Kami berdoa agar welas asi Anda melingkupi semua makhluk. Selama lebih dari tiga dekade, Maha Guru Ching Hai telah menerangi dunia kita dengan ajaran ilahi beliau. Seorang 
guru yang tercerahkan sepenuhnya. Beliau mengajarkan metode Kuan Yin kepada mereka yang ingin dengan segera menemukan hakikat Tuhan di dalam batin agar dalam satu masa kehidupan bisa mencapai kebebasan abadi dari sirkus kelahiran kembali. Metode Kuan Yin telah dilatih oleh semua guru tercerahkan seperti Buddha, Yesus Kristus, Nabi Muhammad, Damai Besertanya, dan Guru Nana. Beliau menekankan bahwa jika kita selalu mengingat Tuhan, memberi pelayanan tanpa pamri kepada pihak lain, dan mengikuti hukum alam semesta, kita akan mencapai potensi tertinggi kita sebagai manusia dan benar-benar memahami tujuan kita berada di bumi. Maha Guru Ching Hai adalah sebuah teladan hidup yang luar biasa tentang welas asi yang secara teratur memberikan bantuan materi dan finansial dan juga cinta kasih kepada para pengungsi Tuna Wisma, korban bencana alam dan bantuan lainnya yang diperlukan. Di tahun 2006, beliau menerima penghargaan Gusi Perdamaian yang dianggap sebagai penghargaan Nobel Perdamaian dari Timur dan telah dianugerahi selama bertahun-tahun dengan banyak penghargaan lain dan pujian atas tindakan kedermawanan dan kemanusiaan beliau yang luar biasa. Menjadi suara yang bisa diandalkan bagi sahabat satwa kita yang elok, beliau mempropagandakan pola makan nabati yang penuh kasih dan damai, serta memimpikan terbangkitnya kesadaran manusia akan kesakralan semua kehidupan, dunia vegan sepenuhnya yang tentram dan mulia, di mana hewan dan manusia hidup dalam keharmonisan yang membahagiakan. Prakarsa beliau untuk menyebarkan tren vegan melalui berbagai cara dan mencakup pembagian selebaran cara hidup alternatif. Jaringan restoran vegan internasional Loving Heart, Supreme Master Television, dan juga secara teratur berbicara kepada pemerintah yang berpengaruh dan pemimpin-pemimpin media serta berpartisipasi dalam konferensi televisi mengenai perubahan iklim. Yang kita sadari ataupun tidak, upaya-upaya beliau telah memiliki pengaruh besar terhadap kesadaran global tentang gaya hidup yang ramah terhadap hewan dan bagaimana cara penuh kebajikan ini bisa menghadirkan perdamaian yang langgeng di antara bangsa-bangsa sambil menyelamatkan planet kita dari perubahan iklim. Selama bertahun-tahun, Maha Guru Ching Hai telah ke berbagai penjuru dunia dari Amerika ke Afrika, dari Eropa ke Oseania dan mengadakan ratusan ceramah kepada masyarakat umum dan murid-murid beliau mengenai berbagai topik spiritual. Hari ini kita terberkahi untuk bisa menghadirkan salah satu ceramah yang berwawasan berjudul Berhematlah itu dimulai dari meja kita. Kutipan dari ceramah Mahaguru Ching Hai bagian ke-1 dari dua seri di acara antara guru dan murid yang disampaikan dalam bahasa Inggris. You said that we came uh, on the earth to bless the oh, world. Yeah. Could you develop a little more? I say you, all of us. Oh, yes, 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 sure. I have explained that very clearly before. And there are many other tapes concerning that. So you can uh, see it again. But you see, we came, otherwise the earth is not peopled. Yeah? And only land and grass and rocks and water. So we came from different world into this physical body to people this world, to make it lively. Nous sommes venus sur cette planète pour peupler la planète, pour l'embellir, parce qu'il n'y avait pas d'habitants avant. Also, we like it. 
Ah oui, parce que nous aimons. It's better. Just like we immigrate to. C'est mieux, c'est comme si nous immigrions. Yes. So we bless it with our presence. Voilà, nous bénissons la planète de notre présence. And our intelligence. Et par notre intelligence. And then we, because of that, we build houses, yeah, and we uh, look after the environment. Otherwise, this place is also a jungle. Et comme ça, nous, nous créons des maisons, sinon toute la, la planète n'est qu'une jungle. Qu jungle. Yeah. So, for example, hein, we bless it with our intelligence, with our talent. Nous bénissons la planète de notre intelligence et par notre talent. Also with our invisible loving power. Et aussi par notre pouvoir d'amour qui est invisible. Yeah. But then when we stay here too long, we seem to identify with the job we do, with the physical instrument, and then we are trapped here. Therefore, we have to need, we need a master to tell us that, hey, 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 remember, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's not that, it's not you. So remember again, so we practice again, then we will remember our origin, and then we can go back home again. Mais si nous restons trop longtemps, nous commençons à nous identifier avec notre travail, avec notre corps, donc nous avons besoin du maître pour nous rappeler notre origine, pour pouvoir pratiquer à ce moment-là, retourner là où nous venons. We depleted the earth because we raised cattle and animals. Actually, this one of another way to contribute to our Earth planet. You know all this. You read more books than I ever can imagine. Yeah, about vegetarian, about how to save our world, about environmental love and all kind of things. And vegetarian diet is the answer to all these questions. Our Earth is collapsing because we eat too much meat. Actually, or we have to put it that way, roughly. Roughly, it's like that, you know? Every minute, every year, we cut down forests as big as England just to raise animals. So how many rainforests has been destroyed? And this change the atmosphere, change the rain. That's why our planet is heating up, heating up, and then many places are having problems with flood and also drought, long period. You remember? So if we want to save the planet, if we want to preach environmental care, we should be vegetarian. There's no, no other thing to do, right? And that is just a small thing compared to all the vaccination and all the water, pure water used for meat and things like that. You already read a newspaper and, and magazines and television every day. I just remind you, just a small portion of it. But the, the harmful effect of the meat diet is larger than life. Animals are our brothers and sisters. It's very important, we know, to live with them harmoniously and respectfully. Because they are there for some reason. You see, there are some birds or some animals to do some special job uh, in this world, yeah? Some are cleaning garbage, like the vulture. <laughs> they have something to do with the whole environment. They balance our planetary uh, ecosystem, ecology system, yeah, to balance the nature. So make the atmosphere good and clean and all that. Everything has something, like trees. Yeah, they are there to ox uh, to give ox oxygen to the planet. Without trees, we die. Really, we will. We die without trees. The water will be less because there are no trees to attract water and to keep water when it's there. So everything in, on this planet, including us, are interrelated and are helping each other to make our life here comfortable and livable, eh? comfortably. But if we don't know that, we are killing ourselves. Every time we kill a tree or kill an animal, we're killing a little part of ourselves. If we have to cut trees, we replant some more, eh? three more more. But still, that takes time to grow up. If you intend to cut tree, you have to plan beforehand. Take long time for a tree to have the ability to produce uh, good air, yeah, and absor absorb the, the bad air for us. Take a long time. 
So a bigger and older tree has more ability than a younger plant tree, even though it looks same size. <laughs> Understand this? Yeah. Just like we, we when we are older, we have more ability, more knowledge about things, including spiritual uh, wisdom. No? Yeah. Similar. It is predicted that in 2010, the Earth's climate will experience a massive uh, change due to the gray explosion of the sun's sun spot. It is also predicted ah. that climate will uh, cause an oil crease. It's kind of an oil shock. Uh, therefore, so it seems that there's a need uh, for its worldwide uh, awareness and effects uh, concerning global warming. We would like to ask you too about just your specific opinion and message concerning this. What do you think we need to do as preparation? Thank you, Mr. Jung. Again, this kind of great upheaval of calamities, the only refuge that we can take is in heaven's grace. By being virtuous, by being compassionate, by being a true believer of God and pray to God's grace, then we can be saved. You see, we should start to change our way of living now. We have to change. We have to. That's the only way we can save ourselves and the planet and the whole world and other beings in it. Because as the saying goes in the ancient India, that uh, any nation who produce ten great persons worthy in the eyes of heaven will not know destruction. So what meaning by ten great personage? That means the person who is truly a human being. He's a compassionate, he's spiritually elevated, and he is unconditional, selfless, and he's serving others. And remember God. For doing that, we are a little bit far. So uh, if we really want to save the world, that's the only way we can do. Otherwise, even if we dig a hole, into the mountain or under the ground to uh, stay away from the sun heat or we go up in the mountain to uh, avoid the sea rising, there are other calamities will be coming our way. Anyone who has any belief in any religion should study their scriptures again and do exactly what is commanded therein. You see, because as you sow, so shall you reap. All the religion told us that. So now we come back to the ancient saying in India that 10 persons who are virtuous can save a nation. Now, how do we do this? Okay, in the ancient time, the nations are smaller than now. In that case, Ten person in each country should be enough. But for our expanded community nowadays, we need more than ten person in a community. I would say it depends on the population also. Now, suppose uh, in New York, for example, uh, we should call that like a nation in the old time. In New York, we probably need well, a million people to be virtuous, upright, and spiritually elevated in order to save New York. So um, I think we have to do faster than what we are doing now. I'm glad the governments are doing something, and uh, all the celebrities, all the distinguished people and organizations, just like you are today, are concerned and trying to push with all the uh, vital actions to save the planet, to stop global warming. I'm very happy about that, but maybe we should move faster and take more actions. 
Vegetarian diet, number one. Green energy, number two. Everybody work together to be frugal and protect the environment and the animals. It's not that difficult. It's just a habit that we have to change. That's all. In the news recently, there are many developing countries which are making use of green technologies such as solar energy, uh, which is clean and sustainable. And they are also trying to minimize the use of coal. We know from scientists, great scientists such as Dr. James Hansen of NASA, that much of the carbon dioxide emitted from coal burning stays in the air for more than thousands of years. So another harmful element of coal burning is the black carbon or soot that contains up to 40 different cancer-causing chemicals that would also cause lung and heart diseases. Also, the byproducts of coal plants are highly toxic and can damage the health of people and animals alike. So uh, every country should help each other to develop more sustainable energy for our shared planet, as well as to protect the health of the people and the animals. We just cannot burn away or use up all our precious natural resources and in the process harm our environment. We must adopt sustainable, green, frugal lifestyles, which will support all life on the planet. The first step is to end the killing of animals for food. Even Dr. James Hansen highlighted this fact as he said that being veg is the most effective means for anyone to save the planet without any ado, without any document, without any trouble. We have to be frugal. We started from the table already. We should not eat too much. We should just eat enough or even a little bit less. So that number one, okay, physically and practically speaking, we uh, can uh, uh, last longer. Mm? The more we eat, the less we will have. And other people will be hungry. And spiritually speaking, we should not eat too full. Even with vegetarian food, 80% full is enough so that God's light and wisdom can be also filling our being with a better understanding about what to do with ourselves and how to help others and how to live a true humane life while we are on this planet. Without God's light and wisdom, we are reduced to merely mortal, working, eating, sleeping, producing children, and die. There's not much we can contribute to our great self and other people, meaning they are also great beings on this planet. So being frugal is the key. Being frugal meaning also we go organic and vegan because this method will help to eliminate the excessive use of natural resource for producing meat and dairy products. And in that case, we will have enough to feed everybody and also reduce the CO2, reduce the methane, reduce all the toxic gas, even hydrogen sulfide. You know the one that uh, if you inhale it, when it's too condensed, you will die immediately. That is produced also by animal rising livestock and methane also. If we uh, reduce the uh, um, livestock raising, then we can reduce all the toxic gases that is, uh, you know, lingering in our air right now. And if we go organic, vegan, then everything will be back to normal before and even better. The weather will become better. Not only the ice stop melting, 
the toxic gas will be reduced, hunger will be eliminated, war will be done with, but also our planet will revive itself and will become even better than now, more lustful, more plentiful, more abundant for all to enjoy it in clean air, peace, love, good health, and long life. Hydrogen sulfide, yes, that, that is one of the toxic gases, deadly gases, which emitted from livestock. Yes. Another is methane, another is, oh, of course, CO2. And the methane can even trigger more CO2 if it warms the climate. Thank you so much. We can talk forever about this. But um, as the president said, we have to be frugal in all means. Frugal, yeah? Saving everything we can. And the best way, the quickest, is to be organic vegan. So encourage organic farming, be vegan. I agree with your feeling about the needless action of taking away from the earth as well as the harmful activities of drinking and smoking along with meat consumption. The people who drink alcohol and smoke as well as eating meat, they have not been well informed, madam. So we will have to make them aware of the harmful effect of these actions and substance. The long damaging effects of these substances include all forms of cancer, sickness, heart problems, incurable diseases, fatal diseases, from smoking as well as shortening life. Alcohol is most damaging to the nervous system. It shrinking our brain, nerves, and can even cause damage to our brain system. While meat eating makes us susceptible to many forms of disease as well as heart problems and cancer. First of all, in the case of animal protein, excessive amounts can actually cause health problems, not helping, including kidney failure from calcium imbalance. Studies have also shown that uh, people who uh, eat meat have even more vitamin deficiencies than vegetarians, seven times more over. Furthermore, if you are vegetarian, your immune system is even stronger, so you will not catch these disease even. Professionals in the field of nutrition uh, state that the vegetarian diet, especially organic, vegan diet is the one people should turn to when they have health problems that cannot be cured by other means, even medicine and the latest invention of modern technology even. So these same persons often experience beneficial changes very quickly and cure for long-lasting health. Vegetarians have been found to live up to 15 years longer than their meat-eating counterparts. And in terms of acquiring protein, there is plenty that can be found from all sorts of beans, nuts, tofu, gluten, corn, rice, and seeds. We have this information stated on our alternative living flyers. Uh, our association member in Mongolia will be glad to give it to you. So the animal-free lifestyle is a successful, productive, healthy, and frugal way to live for everyone. And it also helps to save the planet. Overconsumption in general can lead to even more mass production and overuse of such harmful substances, you know, as uh, pesticides, which hurt our fragile ecosystem causing disastrous effect for not only humans, but flora and fauna as well. So it is true that uh, we should be more aware and uh, inform others about all this impact on the life of every being on the planet. Through this, as well as the animal sparing vegetarian lifestyle, we will naturally become more frugal, clear-minded, and more loving, and help to stop war hunger, war, and disease forever. The first step is vegetarian. 
<laughs> again and again. I'm sorry. If I have other solution, I would have told you. And we don't need this conference. Because vegetarian is the quickest and most effective and long-lasting forever. And it will halt the global warming right where it is, and it will even improve our world. Our world will become better because of the loving energy that we generate. Being vegetarian stops the killing circle and reduces greenhouse gases most quickly. Planting trees, green technology, sustainable energy, etc., etc., can help also, but it takes longer time and it's not karmically effective. We can maybe use a green technology or riding bicycle forever, banish all the cars, but that's not enough, as I have told you before. Being vegetarian, we stop 80% of global warming, the greenhouse gases, we stop. So, vegetarian, vegetarian, and vegetarian, I mean vegan. <laughs> but uh, everything else, we can try. We have to be frugal in any case, but we don't have time to even develop technology, even if there is such thing as a technology to develop, to erase greenhouse gases and stop the global warming. We do not have enough time to wait in this critical, dangerous period of world peril. It will only worsen the effect if we keep waiting longer and longer. We have to start to be vegetarian because a noble lifestyle, a compassionate energy will dispel all the bad karma, all the negative influence that has been created from the killing of other beings. They have been crying, screaming, and their suffering reaches heaven and pierces the earth. We cannot reap anything good out of something so bad like that. We must foster loving kindness. We must begin benevolent action. Just to be vegetarian, that's very simple. Nothing else truly necessary for the moment. Religious leaders can give voice and strive to be a living example of the noble teachings according to their original founders, such as Jesus, Prophet Muhammad, Buddha, Guru Nanak, etc., etc., who espoused the compassionate vegetarian lifestyle. The scriptures from the teachings of these sages all emphasize the need to care for one another and be good stewards of our earth. In the Christian Bible, it is said that meat for the belly and the belly for meat, but God will destroy both it and them. The Buddhist Mahaparanivana Sutra also stated that eating meat destroys the seed of compassion. And a meat eaters, every action will terrify all beings due to their bodily scent of meat. Therefore, religious adherents need to be reminded that to solve the environmental problem, we need to put these teachings into action. And the most effective action is something that citizens can do immediately. Be veg. Of course, another is go green, meaning take care of the environment and be frugal in our usage. To be veg is living in accordance with our true religious beliefs. Foregoing meat and adopting the plant-based lifestyle means we put the principle of compassion into action. So please, continue your noble duty as a reporter to remind people of the dignified moral lives that humans should lead by being veg and doing good deeds apart from going green. Thank you, Mr. Kim dong Huyn, for such a noble journalistic approach that you are doing.
One of the things I'm very concerned about, just as an ordinary citizen of this world, is the increased use of nuclear power. Uh, it's common nowadays for scientists and governments in the world to claim that nuclear power is in fact the only way to reduce uh, greenhouse gas emissions and to solve the energy needs of our rapidly growing population and our increasingly materially developed society. Um, it seems that to any intelligent, rational person, nuclear wastes are simply far too dangerous um, to be using that as a power source. So I'm wondering if you think that um, this is actually a totally wrong way of looking at the problem, that we should be using uh, a very dangerous power source um, to deal with uh, this exponential growth of um, material developments and human population. Maybe we should be going the other way and looking at simplifying our lives and our material needs and even drastically reducing population growth. I'd appreciate your thoughts. Thank you. Good day, Ms. Thompson. <laughs> How are you doing, Mike? <laughs> <laughs> Great. Thanks for your very enlightened and caring and very, very important question. Uh, yes, you are right. Uh, nuclear energy is not the all solution answer. But if we are frugal and use less on materials, we can decrease some of our reliance on energy sources and reduce somewhat our greenhouse gas emission. But uh, as mentioned earlier, being vegan is the most frugal and the key to a more secure and stable world. With a halt to livestock raising, we will stop producing enormous amounts of uh, methane, a gas which is uh, 72 times more potent in heat trapping qualities than CO2. Not only that, there are tremendous uh, savings for precious resources and finance, of course. The resources are very, very, very precious, more than finance, namely, for example, water. And uh, growing food for human consumption uses vastly less energy than growing the food for animal feed, which is then consumed as meat later. Therefore, if we focus firstly on stopping meat consumption, then we will have time to develop sustainable energy sources, which could even be safer and greener than nuclear power. It will take too long to develop technology and test its efficacy and check whether it uh, produces any harmful byproduct, you see. So we do not have much time now. I think we should encourage people to be vegan and we will see so much new inventions in time, new technology that are beneficial and safe for our world. Right now, vegan is a solution. Everything else we can discuss later when we are still alive. Thank you, Ms. Penelope Thompson, for your concern. All information concerning the scientific evidence of climate change and its solution is in Supreme Master Ching Hai's book, From Crisis to Peace, free to download at crisistopeace.org. Pemisa yang berhati baik, terima kasih telah bergabung dengan kami. Dalam acara hari ini 
yang berjudul Berhematlah itu dimulai dari meja kita. Kutipan dari Ceramah Mahaguru Qinghai bagian ke-1 dari dua seri di acara antara guru dan murid. Tetaplah di Supreme Master Television untuk acara positif lainnya. Akan hadir selanjutnya Sutra Sumpah Sejati dan Pencapaian Pahala Bodhisattva Kisti Garba. Bab 1, bagian kedua dari dua seri di acara Kata-Kata Bijak. Semoga Anda merasakan keindahan Tuhan di dalam semua ciptaan. May you receive the beauty of God in all creation. For more details, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash BMD.